Hey everybody, welcome to Life with Gwen and Joe. I'm Joe and this is my beautiful wife Gwen. We're in mid-April and it's another incredibly beautiful day here in Tennessee. Okay, can you believe the temperature? Can you believe the beauty? Amazing. It is stunning and it's room temperature, so I love, I love that. And the sun is dancing through all the trees and the trees are clapping their hands. I love that verse or they're clapping their hands. And the trees are now starting to bloom out and the leaves are coming back from fall. And uh, we're getting very, very green here in Tennessee and I love that part of the year. Well, it's an exciting, beautiful day and a beautiful day for a, a great subject about learning to walk in the Spirit of God. Life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. So we are working our way through this coronavirus issue and it's actually bringing up some challenging things with people. Yes. Uh, people are obviously kind of cooped up in their houses and which is leading to uh, some overeating issues, some drinking issues and people kind of falling to their vices. And so let's touch on that a little bit. Cooping people up in the house is a, a, a new experiment for the world and I would say that um, the, the depression and the moods and all the, the different things that it's causing is these people are returning to their vices. And so there's a way to get out. And so at the very beginning, if you'll recall, there's one of the Life with Gwen and Joes and one of our shows challenged everybody to lose weight during this time of isolation. And we have had the most incredible statistics of people that have been actually losing significant weight during the last six weeks. So uh, we want you to be a part of that and to join us over the next 20 days until this whole thing's over and let's lose weight. And so we're gonna talk about exactly what to do to get started. Galatians 5, 16 through 18, it says, So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law. And that's pretty, pretty interesting uh, dynamic that it talks about right there. Oh, it's very, isn't it? And it's like, because what it's trying to tell you is that to get started, you have got to get in the Spirit. And what does that mean? You know, it's not something you can buy. You can't go out and purchase it. You know, that's what it was. It said in Acts, you can't go buy the Holy Spirit. But if you set your mind on it, it says in Romans, if you set your mind on it, then, and that's what you want, that's what you want. And so you're in conflict with each other. If you let your selfish desire, that selfish desire rule you. And look at, look, when we were babies, what did we do? We cry, we get a bottle. We, we were brought up in this atmosphere of me, self, uh, just cater to self, right? Right. Okay, then you meet Christ and you finally come to the cross. And he says, deny yourself. And so, you know, the only way, th th what this scripture is saying, if you, you right. read, read that top sentence again. I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of a sinful nature. Okay, that one right there. So if you live by the Spirit, you will not gratify. So if you live by the Spirit, you can't gratify the selfish desire. Mm -hmm. So how do you end this dilemma of wanting to overdrink or to overeat, any of that? How do you end it? You don't gratify one and you gratify the other. You can't, you know, you can't serve two masters. It says they're in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want. And mm -hmm. it's interesting. Um, for the sinful nature desires what is contrary yes. to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. So, so that's let's amazing. Let's talk about the two masters because you can't work, like I've said for years, you can't work for both Burger King and McDonald's. I mean, you know, you can't, I mean, they're, they're two different businesses and they're in competition with one another. And you know, it, it's, it's like, you've got to pick a master. You can't pick yourself as the master and then say, oh, but I'm following Christ. I'm following God. You can't do both. 
like uh, uh, being uh, in the military for two different countries. That would be kind of like uh, a soldier uh, trying to wear two different uniforms at the same time uh, for opposing forces. It just physically is impossible and wouldn't work. And he, you, you would, it wouldn't work if you were shooting at that country, then you ran behind the scenes and then got in their foxholes and <laughs> shot at that country. Yeah, it's just, it, it's impossible. It's impossible to serve right. two masters. So what are we boiling this down to when it comes to finally ending your, your weight problem or your alcohol problem or your whatever it is? Because even if you're gossiping, you're serving self, it's a feeling. It goes down to talk badly about people and put them down. It, it feels so good to you that you want that feeling and you gotta end it. You can't serve two masters with that. You can't, you know, some people get so excited about making money and over loving God, but you can't serve both money and, and God, it says in the Bible, you know, in Matthew 6. You can't do it. And so what it all boils down to is a born again moment where you meet Christ and Christ is saying, pick up your cross and follow me. Do what I did. I gave up my life. I gave up everything. And I went straight for obeying the Spirit. What is the Spirit? When it comes to wait, it's the growl. Waiting on that growl. Choosing to wait on that growl. And then realizing that you're serving two masters. I mean, you, you are going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to serve God in the morning, and then in the evening, you serve yourself. Amazing. You know, I, I think part of it is being able to articulate that to yourself and take that inventory. Am I in the spirit or am I, or am I serving myself? And of course, being in the spirit probably requires a little bit more discipline and, and really praying about it. So that, I think there, therein lies the battle. Oh, that is perfectly said. Perfectly said. Bring it home. Bring it home. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when, by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Oh my goodness. So one is building to the other. So it, you're enticed, and then the, when that desire has, it's, it's kind of conceived, it's like, whoop, it's starting to grow you're letting it grow, then it, then it gives birth to sin. And then when sin just keeps metastasizing and this cancer gets into your body, this sin of doing it your way, following your desire, then it, you, you, you're, you're dead to following the Spirit. You're dead to it. And, you know, the person says in Romans, you know, the person that they literally can't anymore follow the Spirit because they are, they're following their, their own desires. So. This is huge. I mean, it's huge for the world to hear this. I mean, that we, this is not a game. It is, it is spiritual life and spiritual death. It is extremely, extremely important to, to us, to our families, to our children and our children's children to talk about walking in the Spirit walking in the spirit and i find it really interesting that it says then after desire is conceived so it starts out small it gives birth to sin and then it talks about right after that it being full grown mm. so this is this this is something that's going to um, get bigger and bigger and bigger the 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 the, the pull is going to get stronger and then in the end it says it gives birth to death so that's uh not a good progression I remember this story, I don't know where I heard it or whatever, I think it's like Fox's Book of Martyrs, but one of the martyrs, you know, was imprisoned and um, he, he, he persevered for so long and he was always smiling and always, you know, making it through right. and then his wife came to see him toward the end, he'd been there for a while and his wife came to see him and he started crying for himself and she goes, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't let that happen. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself, you know, uh, you know, because you know that you're, you're giving birth to self versus the glory of God. And so it's that feeling sorry for self that causes so much sin. It, it's, it's, it has empathy for denial. 
you know, empathy for you having to give up. And uh, that's why so many children are spoiled because, you know, parents have more empathy for, you know, them than what God would want. And it's, it, it just, it's, it's, the, it's the evil of the world. And, it, and that's what it says it is. It's, it's definitely, it's not God doing it. It's our own evil desires. So how do we start over and how do we get there? We are going to do what it says, like what you read earlier. You know, they're contrary to one another. So we got to pick one and I choose the spirit. I choose the spirit every day, looking for that spirit. And, uh, and I, I love that. In Psalms, Psalms, teach me to do your will for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Amen. Amen. So that's a great place to start. Join us in this 20 day walk and we are going to just have spirit days, but to have the spirit day, you have got to say absolutely no to your own, your own um, evil desires and choose, choose serving one or the other and choose God, choose God with me. Even if you don't even know what it means, just choose God, pray to Him, and we're gonna be praying for everybody for right. us to win out. We're not gonna join the world in in overindulging in our vices. It's gonna be a fun 20 days. So thanks for Absolutely. joining us. Love y'all. Love you guys. See, See you, you next time. time. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.